Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel. So in this video, ipapakita namin yung process kung paano kayo mag apply for electronic travel authorization here in Canada. So if you're interested in this topic, please keep on watching! guys know if you have been watching the news or reading the news so last june 6 2023 immigration minister sean fraser has added 13 countries to be eligible in their electronic travel authorization program so luckily napasama yung philippines among the 13 countries na inad ng canada in their electronic travel authorization program First and foremost, ano ba tong electronic travel authorization? So, basically, electronic travel authorization is an entry requirement para sa mga visa-exempt individuals who will be traveling to Canada by air. So, instead of um, going through the usual route na mag apply yung mga tao for visa, yan, bibigyan na lang sila ng electronic travel authorization requirement. But, yun nga no, medyo nagkaroon ng um, confusion yung iba at umasa yung iba. Sabi pa nga nung ibang uh, nag-comment or yung mga nababasa ko na um, medyo na dismaya is that parang pinaasa lang daw sila o pinasabik. Kasi not all Filipinos are qualified for this electronic travel authorization program. So, hindi lahat. Although yun nga, napasama yung Philippines among the list of the eligible countries for ETA. So, in short, there are certain conditions that you must comply para uh, maging qualified ka for the ETA program. So, to be clear, so at the very first part pa lang ng video, sasabihin na natin that this uh, electronic travel authorization is only applicable to those people uh, or Filipinos na merong previous Canadian visa or tourist visa for the past 10 years or kung wala ka namang previous Canadian visa, you are a current holder of US non-immigrant visa. So, that is the first requirement. So, pangalawang requirement is that your purpose of traveling to Canada is for a short visit, short stay, like around 6 months. So, for travel, leisure, visit with family and friends, yeah, mga business trips, so that will be the purpose. And pangatlong requirement is that you will be traveling to Canada by air. So, you have to satisfy all these three requirements para qualified ka to apply for electronic travel authorization instead of um, going through the usual application for visit visa here in Canada. So, yun nga, no, not all Filipinos are qualified for this visa-free entry here in Canada. So, abang-abang lang din tayo guys kasi um, it's understandable rin naman na hindi i-open totally yung Canada for everyone kasi um, it's just similar in our country. Hindi naman lahat pinapapasok sa Philippines. Yung iba required for visa. So, note that this electronic travel authorization, if you are qualified and you have been approved of it, so this is electronically linked na sa passport nyo. There is no need to print a document. But yan, syempre sigurista tayo mga Pinoy. If you want would want to travel uh, to another country, especially to Canada, i-print nyo na rin kung uh, whatever document or receipt na lalabas after your approval. Also, once you have been granted of this electronic travel authorization, so that will be valid for 5 years or until your passport expires, so whichever comes first. So, mas maganda if you would be applying for an electronic travel authorization, make sure na um, mahaba-haba pa yung validity din nung inyong passport. Otherwise, makakat off agad yung validity ng electronic travel authorization. But, um, in case hindi rin talaga maiwasan kasi 
like 2 years na lang yung validity ng passport nyo or 3 years. So, pwede naman mag-apply din later on. So, ulitin nyo lang kasi the cost of this electronic travel authorization for Canada is just $7 or around 280 to 290 pesos. So, it is very cheap na compared sa usual uh, process ng visit visa. So, it will cost you hundreds of Canadian dollars. So, very cheap na yung 7 Canadian dollars. So, with a valid electronic travel authorization, you can visit uh, Canada as often as you want. So, kahit gano karaming beses ka magpabalik-balik sa Canada, basta granted ka ng electronic travel authorization, you may do so and the period for stay will be around 6 months. And then, nasa sa inyo na if you would want to extend that inside Canada. But take note guys, as what we have mentioned in our previous video, yung issue once na electronic travel authorization sa inyo is not a guarantee of your entry here in Canada. So, it's not a sure pass para dito sa Canada kasi nga, syempre, meron pa kayong other documents na kailangang ipakita sa border ng Canada, just like your passport, yung mga birth certificate, or whatever um, pwedeng hanapin sa inyo if you have past criminal record, you have to prepare your NBI na cleared na kayo of that criminal record. So, just be ready dahil ito nga ang electronic travel authorization will not guarantee your entry here in Canada. So, punta na nga tayo sa process. How can you apply for an electronic travel authorization? So, as long as you have met the three requirements that we have mentioned earlier, so, ito na yung kailangan yung ihanda para makapag-apply na kayo for an electronic travel authorization. Unang-una, i-prepare nyo yung valid passport nyo from the Philippines. Pangalawa, i-prepare nyo rin yung valid email address nyo. And finally, prepare your credit or debit card dahil nga may babayaran kayo later on na 7 Canadian dollars. So now, in order for us to apply for an electronic travel authorization, we have to go to www.canada.ca slash eta. And then, we will find the apply online for an ETA here. So, maraming details about the electronic travel authorization on how to apply. So, please feel free to read on these topics if you would wish. But, uh, the very uh, important thing here as a reminder ay kung ano yung dapat yung ready. So, please ready your passport as what we have mentioned, valid email address kasi dito rin i-email sa inyo yung approval for your electronic travel authorization and finally, ready your um, credit or debit card so acceptable methods of payment dahil after you fill up the form, you will be asked na agad-agad to pay for the $7 Canadian fee. So, this is non-refundable. So, please make sure that the details you entered are correct. And kindly take note also that there is no save feature for this. So, kailangan talaga if mag-fill up na kayo ng form, uh, ready na kayo sa lahat ng important details na pwedeng hingin. So, if you are already ready and have prepared all these requirements, so click apply for an ETA and read this important reminder. So, one person at a time, if you will be applying for the whole family, isa isa lang muna. So, also print your receipt because you will be able to print it later or receive a copy of it. And then, uh, watch out for your emails because the updates and the approval will be sent through your email. And then, since this is time uh, limited, so you can extend session if you need more time. Because any information that you would uh, place in this form can't be saved. So, now if you're ready, so let's uh, click on the Get Final Instructions to apply for an ETA. Do you have a passport issued by France? So, if for me, of course, I will answer no. So, just click on what's applicable on your part. And then, dito yung passport number na hihingi. So, sinasabi kung ano yung location ng numbers na hinihingi. So, yan. So, continue to the ETA application form. 
So the next question that you will see is, are you applying on behalf of someone? So if you are applying for yourself, so you should click no. Now the next question that you will have to approach is, what travel document do you plan to use to travel to Canada? Of course, if we are holding a Philippine passport, we can select this ordinary regular passport. And then select the code that matches the one on your passport. So the issuing country is Philippines. So click PHL. And then are you a lawful permanent resident of US with valid US citizenship? So this is no for me. So click whatever is applicable on your part. And then what is the nationality noted on this passport? This is PHL again. So Philippines. So are you traveling to Canada by air? So again, one of the requirements uh, in order for you um, to qualify for the electronic travel authorization is that you have to travel Canada by air. So you have to click yes. Otherwise, so testing natin, if you will click no, automatic it will be shown here that you cannot apply for the electronic travel authorization. So if you will be traveling to Canada by land or by uh, ship or whatever means you will need a visa or other type of travel document to travel to Canada so in order for us to proceed we have to click yes and travel to Canada by air and then this is one of the requirements again so in the past 10 years did you hold a valid Canadian temporary resident visa so that's one of the requirements so we have to click yes so for me, that's applicable. So if hindi ka naman applicable dito, you, you have to answer yes or you have to be eligible for this one. So do you currently hold a valid U.S. non-immigrant visa? So click yes. But uh, if no yan, you have to uh, answer yes on the first one. So to be able for you to proceed with the next steps. So, yan. So, assume na natin na hindi ako holder ng U.S. non-immigrant visa but a holder of a valid Canadian temporary resident visa for the past 10 years. So, now dito na hihingin yung mga details for your passport. So, example lang to. This is a random one. So, please make sure that the passport number that you will enter here is correct. So, otherwise... Um, pwede kayong may isuhan pa rin ng electronic travel authorization but at pwede na kayong maharang when you board your flight. So, instead na magka pa kayo during your flight or travel, so ensure that the passport number that you will enter here is correct. So, pwede rin naman kayong mag-apply ng electronic travel authorization kahit nandun na kayo sa airport but there is a risk na hindi kayo may isuhan agad-agad. So, although um, yung approval can come in few minutes. So, instant. Meron ding uh, instances na pwedeng hours yung abutin. So, pwede na kayong maiwan ng plane nyo. So, please, please make sure that the details you enter here is correct. And then, ito, ipapakita ko na lang. Hindi na ako magkikreate ng random name or uh, date of birth. So, ito yung mga details na hihingin nyo para na rin makapag-ready kayo when you do your uh, electronic travel authorization application. So, surname, then date of birth, so mga um, information or personal information na to sa inyo. And then, dito na tayo sa personal details of the applicant. So, indicate which country you are citizen of and then contact information and then residential address. So, yan, very easy um, area. And finally here, do you know when you will travel to Canada? So this is not a requirement naman that you have to be sure kailan na next month, next week. So if you are not sure when to travel to Canada, just click no. And then kindly read on this consent and declaration. And then click agree. Click on uh, this to sign. So enter your name as it appears on your passport. And then once you are done with all the details, to be inputted here, you can now proceed to payment. So as we have mentioned, after a few minutes of submitting your application, you can already receive your approval for an electronic travel authorization. 
So that is the step-by-step -step process on how to apply for an electronic travel authorization. So again, in just few minutes, even 2 minutes, 10 minutes, pwede nyo na makuha yung approval for your electronic travel authorization and that will be valid for 5 years. So, pwede rin naman yung iba uh, magkaroon ng uh, slight uh, aberya. So, pwede tumagal for 72 hours and magre-reply din sila via email if they would need uh, from your end certain documents. So, yan. Send nyo lang yon in order for you to um, proceed with your application. So, once approved, makaka-receive kayo ng email regarding your electronic travel authorization approval. So, you will see an email like this. So, status ETA approved and then the name of yours will be shown. Also, your passport number. So, kindly please double check if your passport number in that email matches your passport number indicated in your passport. And then, there will be an ETA number and finally, the expiration. So, um, again, the expiration will be 5 years from the date of your application, which is uh, now obviously 2028 from 2023. So, this shows that your application for an electronic travel authorization has been approved. You are now authorized to travel to Canada by air. So, can you take note that um, you are authorized to travel to Canada by air, ha? Kasi meron akong uh, friend or kakilala na uh, nag sa akin if pwede raw ba siyang mag-travel uh, via land kasi manggagaling siya sa US pero um, ang passport niya is uh, from Philippines. So, if you are not a US passport holder or kung ano man yung mga privileges na meron sa mga US passport holders, so since tayo ay mga Philippine passport holders, ang alam ko talaga based from this um, announcement is that you won't be able to use electronic travel authorization to uh, pass Canada or to go to Canada if you will be uh, traveling by land. So, ang advice ko, if she would want to um, get an electronic travel authorization, she would have to uh, travel to Canada by air. So, when you travel to Canada, you will need to bring your passport. Uh, you used to apply for ETA. Because yung um, ETA is electronically linked to it. So, should you obtain a new passport, panibagong ETA yung kailangan yung i-apply. So, another $7 na naman yun. So, yan. Just uh, read on those um, information. And that's it. Ganun kabilis yung electronic travel authorization for those uh, eligible para sa ganitong program. So, para sa mga nagtatanong din, uh, if they can use electronic travel authorization to go here in Canada and work. So, guys, this electronic travel authorization is pamalit lang para sa visit visa. So, the very main purpose pa rin ng uh, punta nyo sa Canada is to visit, explore Canada, travel, sit your family and friends, or do your business trip. So, hindi kasama doon yung work. So, you are not allowed to work in Canada even if meron kang electronic travel authorization kasi the very main purpose of that is just for visit. So, if you would want to work here in Canada, kailangan mo pa rin uh, mag-undergo sa usual process which is to apply for work permit. And also, you cannot study in Canada using the electronic travel authorization, um, kailangan mo pa rin mag-apply for student visa. So, kung gusto nyo mag-take light ng certificate program, ng diploma program, or other kinds of degree programs. So, that's it guys. I hope nakatulong yung video na to para sa nagtatanong on how they can uh, apply for an electronic travel authorization. So, if you like this video, please don't forget to click the thumbs up button and subscribe na rin po kayo guys sa aming channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell para updated rin kayo sa aming latest video uploads. So thank you guys for watching. Bye!